ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our news day. Our top priorities today are <laughs> Lieutenant General Degalu arrives in Juba. <laughs> Aisha Musa meets with North Kurdufan delegation. <laughs> Tripartite meeting asserts importance of Renaissance Dam resumed negotiations. Vice President of the Traditional Council, Lieutenant General Mohammed Hamdan Degalu, arrived in Juba heading a high level delegation. He was received by South Sudan Presidential Advisor for Security Affairs. In a statement to reporters at Juba Airport, Degalu said his visit is a response to an invitation extended by government of South Sudan in a bid to confer with Al Hilu, addressing means of achieving peace in the country. Member of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Aisha Musa, met today at the Republican Palace with the delegation of North Kurdufan State Bureau. Headed by Yasin Jafar, the delegation addressed the North Kurdufan State situations and significant issues which come in the context of peace and development. The state is exerting efforts to solve its problems domestically. Aisha called on the delegation to extend their vision to the Sovereign Council to accelerate solutions of the current problems. The tripartite meeting comprising foreign and irrigation ministers of Sudan, Egypt and Ethiopia convened yesterday. Sudan confirmed commitment to resumption of negotiations responding to African solidarity and international legal principles. Patronized by the African Union, the meeting is aimed to forward the negotiations related to the dams filling up and operating together with the future projects. Sticking to the agenda determined by South African president was demanded by Sudanese government. A potential comprehensive agreement would boost regional cooperation and exert efforts to solve African problems. The Secretary General of State voiced optimism towards sustainable peace in Sudan via the ongoing negotiations carried out in Juba between the government and the struggle movement. An eminent significant of comprehensive peace agreement is prospected to spur development and prosperity, the official added. This came in his speech before the army in Al-Fashir, marking its 66th anniversary with the rapid support police and intelligence forces involved. The state secretary general congratulated the army and citizens on the glorious event. <music> Governor of Nahranil state, Amna Ahmed al makki issued a decision reforming the mining council. The reforming of the set council is a move to eliminate problems which hamper performance of the mining and export sector. Amna further stressed importance of fostering export, particularly the goal that poses a strategic commodity in the sustained economic growth. Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok stressed the transitional government's interest in developing the agricultural sector in general and Jazeera project in particular and working to overcome all challenges facing the project in order to play its role in supporting the Sydney's economy. This came when he met today in his office the Acting Minister of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Abdul Qadir Turkawi, and the Chairman of the Board of Directors of a Jazeera project, Dr. Siddiq Abdul Hadi, and the Governor of the project, Dr. Omar Mohammed Merzouk. Now we remind you with the headlines. <laughs> Lieutenant General Degalu arrives in Juba. Aisha Musa meets with North Kurdufan delegation. <laughs> Tripartite meeting asserts importance of Renaissance Dam resumed negotiations. That was it from Shirok TV. Thank you for following. See you tomorrow. <laughs>